one of relocation number two. About 10 to five, Uber's going to be here in five minutes. Off we go to Brisbane. Been in Brisbane for one hour, and then we start driving home. Um, Lisa's optimistic. I'm optimistic, feeling better. Um, this one's going to be more detail orientated. So I think at the end of every day, we're going to say the cost and uh, the kilometres and the time in the driver's seat. So yeah, and there'll be all the normal stuff along the way as well. But we're hoping that uh, people are more interested in the cost and uh, the kilometres and the timings this time. Okay. Uh, five to five. First leg of the day in the Uber. Hardest part, getting to the RV. But here we are. I think this bright light's pretty hard anyway. <laughs> I thought sitting in the truck was pretty hard. This is pretty hard, but yeah. First leg. What's the Uber costing? About $81. 81 bucks. So, all right, first uh, spend for the day, 80 bucks getting to the airport. Right? Awesome. I just like to get the first Insta pose out of the way. I like to reach into the tool bag, kind of sets the mood. So, we're ready to travel. 5.30, bag drop. Um, that's the board plane, second meet. 5.44, gate six, the waiting game begins. I just realized something, these seats are bigger than the seats on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got a false sense of security, thinking that I'm here and you're there. When on the plane, you're actually here. <laughs> I think I'm pretty tolerant, and um, I try my best, and I'm often let down by the support team. So when I get home, this is just a note to make sure that I sack wardrobe. Is there a problem with my shirt? Is there a problem with my shorts? Yes. Have a look at my shoes. Can you see any problems with my shoes? What brand is that? What brand is that? <laughs> Mate, they've given up. They're not even trying no more. Did I give you a six and added us? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> They're not even close. <laughs> I, I resign, I quit, and don't I'm out. How can you soar like oh an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys? On the plane now, chock up a lock. My baggage oh, is down the back. This was what, 270 bucks? Yeah. So this is the flight to Brisbane. Two hours I found out, I don't remember being two hours, not real happy about that, but yeah, 270 bucks. Off we go. Brisbane, we made it. Um, all is well, all is good. Done the handover, done the inspection, found a few little things, as in there's a chip on the window and there's a little ding at the back and there's a little thing at the front. This is just for us in case we need it in Hobart. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we've done the um, walk around. On time. On yes. time. Yes. We've had an upgrade. Okay, so new truck. It's only done 11,000 kilometres. So uh, it's got a new new car, new truck smell to it, which I'm happy about. It's near driving a brand new one. It's got a massive GPS here. Although we bought our own GPS from home this time, we were prepared. But because I'm blind, that is magnificent. My chair is closer to the ground, and the chair seems a little bit more comfortable. So that'll probably two of my, and I've got reverse camera. This truck has actually got a reverse camera, so I don't know if I'm cruising or watching me whinging about the uncomfortable seats, the small GPS and how we really need a reverse camera, but somehow, for some reason. So we've literally just crossed the New South Wales border and the sign said, welcome to New South Wales. And our GPS went from 1147 to 1247 automatically. So this is our hourly update. We, we gained an hour a couple of hours ago, but now we've lost it again. And I've only got one thing to say. I love this truck. I love the old one. But this Speedo, this GPS, this seat's more comfortable. I've only got four and a half hours of driving. I might do this full time. Not sure if the burgers are better at Hungry Jack's, but I got the Whiskey River Whopper, which fell out of the box. So that's why the bag's here. Uh, it's got chips and it's got the whiskey in it. Let's see how it's nice it is. And I got a free cup with the large meal. 
So Lisa's having her first drive. Oh my god! <laughs> it's no. scary. It's big. Oh my god. Not, Hello. <laughs> not really giving me a break. Just um, she wanted to try it. This is uh, the motor home, and you can't say you've driven a motor home unless you've actually driven a motor home. So here's Lisa driving the motor home. How do you feel now driving? After five kilometres, good. <laughs> it actually feels like I'm driving the Colorado, I reckon. It's just when I look in the rear view mirrors, I can see how long it is. So as long as the roads are flat and straight and they're not going into any roundabouts, I'm fine. And it's automatic, so there's no gear changes or anything. So, so to other... To other women out there who are too scared to maybe drive, what do you suggest now? Um, look, if you've driven a four-ton moving truck or if you've driven those big utes, the trading utes and all that stuff, this feels the same as it. It's just, um, yeah, like I said, it's when we get off these main freeways and motorways, I don't know yet. Uh, but if it's anything like pulling a trailer, towing a trailer, not pulling a trailer, towing a trailer or, yeah, going around roundabouts and all if it's the same concept I think I should be right and cruise and motorhomes lets you drive on a car license as long as you're above 21 so there you go it's 117 so 117 pm New South Wales home so how does it feel being a passenger on this a motorhome is, this is awesome isn't it I get to do nothing isn't I get to sit and look pretty huh yeah look, are, are we there yet cross. are we there yet what's your speed what's your speed Give way to a truck. Yeah, yeah. legs across. Mate. No. How good's being a passenger? I love yeah. it. This is awesome. <laughs> Doing nothing, reading the street signs, eh? Brunswick heads. Hey, you know what? No one knows. Yes, than you. Hey. We're still on the Pacific Highway, M1. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I actually forgot I was filming. You, baby. The, 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 <laughs> the phone touched me on the head. So there's Lisa. See, she's driving, and um, here's me passengering. Hey. I think we change roles from now on. Actually, this is after this is after the wardrobe malfunctions this morning. I'm on protest. That's why you're driving, and I get you. That's why you're driving, huh? Yeah. That's what happens when you wear black. Here we are again. Um, me driving an RV. 3:50 p.m. Lisa passaging, passengering. Probably four hours earlier than last time. Hey, Lisa, quick, get out your phone. Here's the big banana. Quick. Not in my pants, out the window. Lisa, put it out the window. No, so like joking, yeah. Here's the big banana. I wondered where it was. Here's the big banana. So, we are making good time, aren't we? Very good I think time we're making today. good time. Very good time. Day one. Um, 90 k's out. We're pretty deep into Sydney now. We've been driving into Sydney for probably five hours. So I think we're probably 400 k's or thereabouts out from Sydney, but deep into Sydney, sorry, deep into New South Wales. Um, it's been good, Tristan's given us a whole lot more music, so when we turned the music on we had 90 songs instead of like 20. The GPS has been awesome, the truck's great. I've worked out the cruise control, so that's making it easier, and in 52 minutes we're gonna be there, in daylight. No problem setting up the truck tonight. We'll go get a quick bite to eat and um, Although it has been seven hours, it's been a lot easier this time, Lisa, hasn't it? Yeah, 4.47pm. <laughs> and Lisa had a drive. Yes, I did. You smacked that now. Yeah. Which was good. And, um, yeah, looking forward to get to this caravan park and... Um, Actually seeing it. And watch tomorrow, probably another seven-hour day. Oh, probably eight. So, look, I've got to be, I've got to be honest lot more calmer this time, a lot more relaxed, none of that nervous energy. I am enjoying it, but make no mistake, seven hour day, and then an eight hour day, and the GPS hasn't, we were going off the road a lot the first trip, and so we got a backup GPS now, and that seems to be working a lot better, but still, still, to relocate the mobile home is, we'll say two seven and a half hour days least, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. You, you, you're driving, you know, you're working, you're going. But, um, yeah, a lot more fun this time. 5.39pm. 
We're at the Port Macquarie Service Centre, just grabbing some dinner before we head into our um, first caravan park. Just thought I'd give a quick overview of the new van that we've got. So that's the reverse cycle, uh, reversing camera. And we're in the truck bays at the moment. Just grabbed a coffee frappe, no cream, no drizzle. And waiting for Justin to come out of Guzman and Gomez. Day one dinner, uh, mild chicken burrito, medium coffee frappe. Justin's having a mild chicken burrito and a, a farmer's union coffee. I've got my iced coffee, yeah. And we are 20 minutes away from our destination. Um, wow. We've just reached Reflections at Bonnie Hills. Wow, okay. Look at the water. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. I'll get you to the wheel, the bumper bar. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Stop. Stop. That's where the wheel is. just arrived here at Reflection in Bonnie Hills and it's lovely to be in daylight and it's lovely at 6.30 to stop driving and it's lovely to be able to take in the views. So, um, I believe last trip we had better views but we got here too late to see. This is awesome to see. This one looks really nice. How much does this cost for the night? 60 bucks a night. Six months, this looks good value so, compared to the rest. Concrete slab, yeah. power, water. All we set up here. Are yep. You me go through it all? Yeah. All right. all right. Are we starting? All right. It's thirty. Starting. Yeah. We all right. Let's go. So four things he's going to do again. So we need gas, electricity, water, and he's actually going to show you um, the grey water outlet as well, or the sludge, which we didn't do last time. But we never use our own amenities. Okay. Here we go. So orange is electricity. Blue is our mains water. Mm -hmm. Goes on to our tap right here. So there's a tap there. So number 77's us. Yep. I'm going to just cross thread that a little bit because I'm blind. And that is on. So that's yeah, on yeah. mains water. And remember with this one, this is the water tank for the motorhome. This is the mains water connection, which we want. We're going to be connected in two minutes. And we're going to go be able to... Go and have a walk, view. yeah. I don't need a walk, you can a walk. No, just to the viewpoint, yeah, like 10 minutes from us. So that's taken him literally a minute to connect the water. So this is our 15 amp cords every caravan park and campsite apparently in Australia has 15 amps for motorhomes and caravans so literally the mail plug goes into this part here okay. yep the mail one goes into number 77 or two assuming yep and the female part gets plugged Oh, which way are you? That way. So that one? Yep. That is now Into, juiced up. So that's electricity connected. That's water connected. That's bottle. And we'll we'll um neaten up these cords later. Next to the water is the gas bottle. Remember there's a um there's a lever. Shut off valve. Up here yeah. and it's on the left. So Justin's just literally open up open up this gas bottle here. The left bottle. And now I've got hot water and gas for my stove. And did you want to do the grey line? Yeah, just to show them how to connect it. We don't need right. it. So how long have we been here for? Two minutes, 58. Three minutes. Gas, water, electricity, plus we talked at the start. Yes. And, and then, the other thing is the grey water into here. So where the water mains and the electricity is, they've got these two holes. That's what the grey sludge goes into. And this is what the plug looks like. So there's one end that has no connection, which just will show you just for reference. 
And I went into that. That's it. And that literally... This coupling goes coupling, onto the male shut-off cock here. Which he'll right. show you. Which is found on where the step is and the door, caravan door. Make sure these lock it off. Gets locked off. Open the valve. Open the valve. She's drained. Done. So now I can have showers and um, I can cook and wash dishes in the in the motorhome. And come here, just so everybody can still see. Yep. Still wearing ASICs and Adidas. <laughs> Done. So four things, gas, electricity, water, sludge from the kitchen sink and the shower and ensuite vanity. Obviously the toilet has its own cassette, but we don't use it. So I don't know if Justin will show you one, but show you what. done. So he's turned on the water. He's gonna turn on the switch, but look at this view. This is our slab here. And I literally turned here and that's our viewpoint. Wow. So after many months of YouTubing and success, this is the standard of the wardrobe. I've got a button missing here. All right. <laughs> I've sitting on a plane with a button missing here all day. This hem of the shorts come loose. So this is hanging around me knee. All right. <laughs> so I've been hiding this all day. And I've had two odd shoes. So, uh, um, please, what, GoFundMe page. Put some money in the GoFundMe so I can afford some clothes, please. Because my wardrobe's falling apart at the seams. No filters needed for this. Okay, so this is the water. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, 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 shit! Oh, that's gone high quick. I don't know how sexy that was because I knew drowned, but here I am, and it's cold. Ha, 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 ha. 